it seem like you've spent your entire life on a diet? Do you start each new diet with high hopes only to have them dashed a few short weeks later? Do you often find yourself on the diet rebound, eating more than you ever even thought you could? Hi there, my name's Jeanette Patty, AKA The Fat Chick, and I'm a plus size certified fitness instructor. I've helped hundreds of people of all ages, shapes, sizes, and abilities learn to love their bodies and love exercise again. Welcome to episode five of the Right Now Show. Today, I'd like to talk to you about something I like to call the big fat cycle. This is the typical cycle of dieting and deprivation that so often leads to rebound eating and lifelong frustration. And since my personal big fat cycle so often includes cookies, I'm going to tell you about my big fat cookie cycle. Let's start by looking at an excerpt from a speech I recently gave about my big fat cookie cycle at Dickinson College for Love Your Body Week. Now, let's talk a little bit about this cycle that happens, right? The cycle starts with panic, oh my god, oh my god, I'm fat, at least a fantasy, if I'm thin, everything will be perfect. It goes to anger, um, this dieting stuff really sucks and I don't look awesome. Then you go to shame, it's my fault that this dieting thing doesn't work. I suck, and then back to panic, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm fat, right? I'm fat, I'm never going to have another chocolate chip cookie again. If I get thin, men from exotic places will come on a yacht, <laughs> and they will take me somewhere wonderful, and I will go to Starbucks, and I will get my triple non-fat latte, and a film director will walk in and say, my God, that's the one. And I'll walk out of there with a latte and a three-picture deal because you know what? I'm thin. That's what's going to happen. I'm going to get thin because I will never eat a chocolate chip cookie again. Okay, I've been doing this for six weeks. My Angelina Jolie plan is still at Angela Lansbury. I have not had a cookie in six weeks. This is not a happy place in my life right now. I worked out for two hours this morning. I still can't wear my skinny jeans. And I want a cookie. I want a cookie. I'll just have one cookie. Oh, it's so good. Do I have one cookie? No. Because I'm going through the deprivation cycle. So how many cookies do I have? I have lots of cookies. Me one cookie. Right? And then I'm sitting there. There's crumbs. There's wrappers. You have the... It's not even the morning after. It's like five minutes after. <laughs> so, does this cycle sound familiar to you? Do you find yourself five minutes after eating sprinkled with crumbs and covered with shame? If so, you're not alone. This is a very typical response to deprivation. We become obsessed with the things we think we can't have. Don't believe me? Check this out. We're gonna do a little experiment. I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to not think about chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not think about warm, soft, gooey, delicious chocolate chip cookies. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Think about anything else. Okay, open your eyes. How'd you do? How'd you do? Did anybody not think about chocolate chip cookies? Oh, good for you. You're lying, but that's okay. <laughs> when you base a wellness approach on not doing something, you're going to have problems right from the start. You need to base your wellness programs on positive actions, a positive approach, and that's what the Health at Every Size approach is. So what is Health at Every Size? The Health at Every Size approach to wellness is based on caring for your body in a positive way. 
Rather than hating your body because it's bigger than you or society thinks it should be, health at every size or haze takes a different approach. Instead of subtracting, denying, depriving, and suffering, the haze approach is about giving, nourishing, nurturing, and enjoying. The haze approach suggests that you enjoy a variety of foods that nourish not only your body, but also your spirit and your soul. The health at every size approach suggests that you find a way of joyfully moving your body that feels good to you. The haze approach suggests that eating and exercising are just two small parts of a large variety of health practices that take into account things like sleep, stress management, your social life, your sex life, your spiritual practices, and a whole bunch of other things. Sound pretty good? I can say that since I've embraced the health at every size approach, I've never been happier and I've never looked back. There's so much more to learn about health at every size than I can share with you in this short video. So I've provided links to lots of awesome resources below. I hope you'll consider health at every size as an important part of your wellness plan. And I hope you'll take the time to learn a little bit more about health at every size right now. Remember, if you're enjoying the videos, don't forget to subscribe. And until next week, mwah!